our TV show on Jewel TV. If you haven't seen Wes Isley's Magic Life on Jewel TV, um, check it out. I think you guys will really like it. Uh, it's 16 episodes. Episode 16 comes out tonight. Um, and that's it for season one. We are already scheduled for a season two to debut in February. I'm hoping it's towards the end of February. <laughs> he hasn't given me dates yet. Yeah. But um, just just for us to have time. Because we have to film a show about a magician doing 400 shows a year, but it's COVID. So now we have to film a show about a magician being unemployed during COVID. <laughs> right. And that's not the same show. For the most part. But, I mean, nobody likes no, COVID. No, but, I mean, it, 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 it's life it right now. It is what it is. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's reality. Just, yeah. You just show taking care of twin babies and what life is like for entertainers right now. Life is, is hard for entertainers right now. So. I mean, I had a friend of mine yesterday selling off a big chunk of his uh, collection and he was very tore up about it, but he has paid for bills. He's, he's, right. there's the no money. money coming in and you know, what piddly amount the government's giving you, that's right. Even if we get the $2,600, whatever you're supposed to get, what does that do? That it's isn't, a one-time that isn't, thing. That doesn't pay your bills for the past nine months. That's like a drowning person getting a last gulp of air before they go back down. Uh. It's, it's, not, it's not much. And people are like, well, you know, we need essential people, essential people, essential people. And I agree. You need the essential people. But people also don't realize that for us, entertainment is essential. It is what pays our bills. It's what keeps our children clothed and fed and a roof over our heads so for us it's essential i also don't think people take into consideration that oh it's COVID. i've never watched more tv in my life well guess what that's entertainment right there and maybe it's not essential and it's not saving somebody's life but it's an escape for some people and it helps it helps you get away from Um, your everyday troubles for 45 minutes or an hour. But in L.A., my publicist lives in L.A., I have friends in L.A., they're filming because TV is essential. They're back to filming in L.A. Wow. That's that's great. That's great for TV. I wish it would come here. I I wish we could open up for entertainment here because... And and it would be considered essential for people to be able to have some entertainment because I think... That is put a plexiglass wall between us and the audience. Do whatever the you have to do. Yeah, right. Exactly. I just I think um, that an escape for for a little time is good mentally, just to go and stop and have fun. I think everybody needs a mental break every once in a while, and I feel like that's what we provide when we do a magic show. And also, uh, I'm. We need to work. <laughs> yeah. So and and all the other entertainers out there that that rely on live entertainment as their job are suffering right now, and it, and and it's been rough. So I'm really hoping. You know, this thing started, and we went out and bought bikes. We were telling that story. We didn't know. Everybody's like, "Oh, it'll be done by Easter." Yeah. We're like, "Okay, well, then we're good. We can get some bikes." And then it's, "Oh, it'll be fine by June." And then all of our resorts that were booked for this summer are like, yeah, we can't do it. And our summer went down the toilet. And then it's like, okay, by fall. No. And then you hear all this, winter's going to get worse. I'm like, golly day. It's almost been a year. When is this going to end? And so. And then we booked a few Christmas shows. Yeah, we, we things were turning up. You know, we booked some a handful of shows for the holidays, not nearly what it was, you know, has been for, for the season. But But during COVID, you're thankful for any phone call you get. Right. We were so thankful to have those hand, I think it was like five or six shows that we had on the books. We're so thankful to have them. And then, um, Virginia got shut down again to, you know, 10 people or less in an event. So we ended up having one show that stayed on the books, and that was it for all of December. And it, for us, it gets it's scary, you know. You you're living off savings, and you're going okay. You don't see an end in sight. 
Mm-mm. If I could see an end in sight, I'd be like, okay, we're good. Our savings will last us that long. But when there's no end in sight and people have been saying it's going to be over in two weeks, it's going to be over in four months, it's going to be over. Well, the vaccine's going to be here in December. Don't worry. Yeah. The vaccines will be here in December. And now they're saying, well, yeah, but it's going to take to July before them all to get distributed. What? Right. It's just scary. I'm just saying, think about your friends out there who are <laughs> entertainers. And when you're able to hire them, go ahead and hire them. Help us entertainers out. Give yourself a brain break from worry and stress and work. And help us entertainers out by hiring us. <laughs> we need the work. <laughs> so I'm looking at a set of notes here. And I was talking about uh, getting on Jewel TV and second season coming in February. How did we get on COVID? I don't know. I don't know. Second season filming. What oh, we're that's what it was. Now, that's I what guess. it was. And All right, there you go. we just went down a rabbit hole. There you go. Anyway, we're not bitter. We're no. not bitter about it. No. <laughs> she might have done a 10 minute rant just now, but we're not bitter. It wasn't a rant. It's just, I think people don't realize. Um, I just don't think people realize that there's, when they say you're not essential, that it's like, okay, maybe my job doesn't save lives. I'm not a doctor in an office, but it's essential for me. Yeah. So you just got to think about those things when you're telling somebody to their face that entertainment isn't essential and it's like ha ha it's my job it is essential for me well and the reason she's saying it over and over is we have a friend that's posted several I'm times sorry, during I'm, the pandemic I didn't mean to be saying it over and over no no but you somebody on uh, our friend has posted it and she's just not thinking yeah exactly you they're not thinking it I, I, and i don't think people are doing it on purpose i think they're just not thinking right that you know there are people out there that rely on entertainment as their livelihood <laughs> and they think and and they're putting up their you know oh, next time you know you think about these how much these football players entertainers are, making. are getting paid and everything else and then the next post is wow i just binge watched a whole season of what's and what's show and like oh my goodness and you know talking about you know so her comment and on facebook is something like you know you see who's essential when a football player is making a hundred million dollars a year he's not essential you know but the other thing is if you're a banker you're not devoting all of your time when you get off work to studying to be a better banker as a magician as an entertainer you're creating new material you're working to be the best you can be Right. Natalie gives me notes after the show, you know, you stepped on that line or you forgot one part or, you know, maybe we should do this instead of this. When you're done with a regular nine to five job or these Walmart employees that are essential, when they clock out, they clock out, they're, they're done. done. Right. They can go. They do- turn off. We don't. No, we have to figure out how, what to do next because, okay, we booked you last year. We want a different show this year. We saw it already. Right. Uh, you know, you're, you're, you're a central person has that skill, and that's their skill, and they just get to do that over and over again. And football players are working out 20, you know, every day right. of the week. It, when, they're not, when they're not on the, on the road doing football every night, they're in training, they're doing this, they're doing that. And... Can't just slack off in off season right. because you can't come back to training fat so <laughs> they don't clock out when the show's over. They're, right. they're still right. Anyway, um, sorry if that was a rant that you didn't want to hear, but it it you know, no, I don't it's, know. It's just our lives. That's that's what we're going through right now. But um, Jewel TV second season. It's going to be a COVID season. So uh, buckle up, guys. It'll it'll be a ride. <laughs> um, uh, the Jewel TV app on your cell phone is free. You can get it, uh, download it. It's absolutely free. Um, if you go to Apple TV or Roku over the holidays, I went to friends' houses that have Roku and Apple TV, and I, and both of them asked me, All right, "How do I get your show on this? I can't get it on this." And I looked up Jewel TV, I looked up Wes Eisley's Magic Life, I looked up Magic Life, can't find it. I can't find it. I call the owner of the company, uh, Tom Julian, Jewel TV, and I say, "Hey, look, you know this is embarrassing. I have friends that are trying to find my show on Jewel TV or trying to find it on Apple TV or Roku. They can't find it." Well, what we have figured out, or what we know so far, is that Apple TV has a pay service, and Apple TV has like a free sample. Roku is the same way. If you buy the Roku thing that plugs into your TV, 
you're going to get Wes Eisley's Magic Life. You're going to get Jewel TV. If it's just a free app that comes with your smart TV, you're not going to get us. So um, they're working on trying to get all that logistically and make it easier to find us. But if you want to find us right now, just download the Jewel TV app on your smartphone. You can watch it right there. You can simulcast it to your television. You can watch it in your living room.